My name is Dr. B. G. Ratnam. I am a neurosurgical consultant at Apollo Hospitals, Jubilee Hills in Hyderabad. Today, we will talk briefly about clots in the brain. Of late, it has become a very common term being used by various doctors and general public saying so and so had clots in the brain and they had become critical. As far as public are concerned, clots in the brain is a simple thing. There is a lot of different medical terminologies about it. Now two things we must understand, there is something called bleeding and something called clotting. Bleeding happens when liquid blood flows out of a blood vessel and clotting happens when that blood which has come out has become a solid part, what we call a clot. Both are entirely different. Now unfortunately, brain has different different layers from top to bottom, skin, some tissue under the skin, then then bone. There are three layers on top of the brain and there is fluid around the brain and there is fluid inside the brain. So this depending on where this bleeding or clotting has happened, there will be a different kind of outcome to the patient and based on that we decide on the treatment. Now I want to clarify few things. Now, when uh, somebody gets injured, they get a fracture. Now, some of these fractures can produce bleeding in, in outside the brain, what we call epidural hematomas. That is what I am showing here in pink color. Similarly, somebody who has been on medication like blood thinners, they tend to develop spontaneously or with a small injury, hemorrhage outside in the different layers of the brain, what we call subdural hematomas. Now, epidural hematomas tend to be clots, that means solid blood. The subdural hematomas tend to be liquid. Those are more of bleeding. Now, bleeding can also happen inside the brain, what we call intracerebral hematomas. They also tend to be clots. Normally, there is water channels within the brain and Within the water channels, there can be bleeding happening which tend to be liquid initially and it also can clot. So you must understand there is bleeding in different parts of the brain behaves differently. Now second most common thing which people get confused is patients who have stroke. We say patient had a stroke because blood within the artery which is a thick pipe of blood carrying vessel gets blocked by a clot. Even the clot by location and uh, size is very small, it affects large part of the brain, right? That gives rise to what we call ischemic strokes. There are second kinds of strokes where there is actual hemorrhage within the brain and causes a clot. So that is what we call a hemorrhagic stroke. Now brain, like how it has a thick wall arteries, it also has thin wall veins and thick wall veins. Sometimes we hear that there is a vein which has developed a clot inside and it gives rise to again ischemia to different different parts of the brain. So you must understand clotting is a very common usage but you must understand the bleeding and clotting they will have different outcomes. So somebody who has an accident and who developed a epidural hematoma which is outside between the skull and the brain probably requires an operation. Now people who develop this liquid clot between the layers of the brain what we call a subdural hematomas probably will require an operation if the subdural hematoma is slowly growing. It requires some holes to be put within the skull and drain that liquid blood. Occasionally we do operate for stroke where there is a large clot within the brain which is not reducing in size. Now sometimes there is blood within the brain water channels where we put in a tube through an operation and let out the blood and brain water to normalize the pressures. Now the stroke which is caused by a blocked artery through a small uh, clot in base of the brain can sometimes be removed using a endovascular treatments. So depending on the location of the clots in the brain or a bleeding in the brain, we have to give patient an advice. So when patient tells me, doctor, I have a clot in the brain, 
it is very confusing for the doctor we need to look at the investigations like ct scan or mri to decide where the clot is or where the bleeding has happened depending on those reports we have to give them advice thank you